most doctor, all the doctors say, why we need culture? I just take a look, I know that is dermatophyte or not. So I, I gave some picture to the company. They show the, the picture to those doctors and ask them to point out which is dermatophytosis. Unfortunately, all the doctor was wrong. All the doctor cannot. This picture is a alopecia. It's a, a, a little erysema and erosive on the feet. Crusting, losing uh, a rare hair with crust and uh, follicular cast. Looks like a round shaped alopecia here. Also, erysema, some crust. And round shaped alopecia here. <clears throat> Interdigital alopecia. All those cases worse. Diagnosis by others bad say this is a dermatophyte. The ear tips alopecia and the armpit has losing hair, a little greasy and some crust. Looks like a carrion lesion here and a erysema and some erosive lesion. And the periorbital, erosive, ulcerative, and the losing hair, crust here, losing hair here. Okay, which one? Maybe I only use five picture. Which one do you think it is a dermatophytosis? Put the answer in your mind, okay? <laughs> That's also is out of my expectation, but because I almost performed fungal culture for every case, then this is a erosive case, but I got mycosporonchemis. This is very, yeah, also, <clears throat> very erosive case, and I got mycosporonchemis. Both cases, it came from one city, is northern Taipei, about 100 kilometers. It's, it's weird. Why those places come, the, the case came from those cases, is, is not so difficult. And because the first case, I got a very surprise result, the second case come, I, I performed, definitely performed the culture to, to check is that possible is a very weird case of dermatophytosis. Okay. And differential diagnosis. We'll make a, a story short. Actually, I, I, pref, I preferred differential diagnosis for all skin disease. We shouldn't limit it to our thought. If we find this is a, a kind of disease, we need to differentiate all the skin disease in one time. So take off this. All the skin disease, we need to differentiate diagnosis. <clears throat> For my experience, the common error, if you a uh, itching case came, and the previous vet probably will say it is a dermatophyte. It probably is incorrect. If the previous vet just take a look and say it is dermatophyte, it's probably inappropriate. If the dog showed the wrong shaped of the PCR, and the previous vet say it is a dermatophyte, it's still probably is incorrect. Sometimes the, the doctor only use the wood light and they say it is not dermatophyte. It's also inappropriate. And sometimes I met the doctor reveal a lot of posture. And also was diagnosed by others that say it is dermatophyte. Still, it prob probably is incorrect. 
if the dog can, and the previous vet diagnoses dermatophytosis and gives few shots, maybe three injection, and got a lot of the shampoo, you can make sure the previous vet is incorrect because there is only one focal nozzle has injection of antifungal agent, and I don't believe any veterinarian will use the injectable focal nozzle for dermatophytosis because it is unnecessary. And if you find a case revealed polyuria, polydipsia, poly polyphagia, but the previous vet said your dog got dermatophyte, then probably the diagnosis is correct, but the medicine is incorrect because we don't suggest using corticosteroids for dermatophytosis. In conclusion, if possible, perform the cultures as many as you can. Perform the cultures when you suspect. And if you made the culture agar by yourself, I believe you would like to make to perform the culture. And if possible, if you want, I prefer you have a, a clinical research culture for all your case, then you, you will know the exact percentages of dermatophytes in your area. Maybe, never know, nobody know, can, anybody can answer the question in 30, how many percent is dermatophytosis? I believe, well, people just only, you know? But that's, that's according to fun, fungal culture? Three or four? And also, if possible, check the blood chemistry. It's very important. Okay, thank you for your attention. I, f I finish faster. <laughs> thank you. Is there any question? <coughs> Albican, right. and it's a systemic infection, very severe case. That's that's only experience. But for the matter five, as I know, they will suggest ten to thirty minutes milligrams per kilogram SID once a, once a day. Some day. some people suggest two hundred and fifty milligrams per dog but SID. Yeah. But I think we, I, in my situation, I have no, I, I don't, I don't need to use the focal nozzle for this moment. I use tabinafin. It's very good. Yeah. It's, and I have done a very simple, it's, it's not a, a scientific or it's not a qualified test. <coughs> oh. Then the laboratory also prescribed that these are the number of colonies per field. Number of colonies per field, because before declaring a case of dermatophytosis positive, these are also recommendation Then we should know the colonies per field, because most of the cases are false positive sometimes. Culture report. Colonies per field, this is uh, given by your no, this is not. This is not that. No, that's not bacteria. At parking hair, if the hair, w the hair root or hair th around the hair will grow, will grow the. This range was launched in 2006 in Europe. That is why it's 2006, and we have been requested by the Yukonuba guys to use this presentation. That is why it's 2006. So you could. This is the number one reason for the change, and the health issues which frequently affect the dog's life is as follows. Majority of the cases of skin and coat, 31% change the dog food because of improper skin or coat. 29% for digestive disturbance of the skin, sensitive digestion, overweight formula, and sensitive joints. 
these are the four products which we have got in the sensitive range. Normal care products have different formula as compared to our other OTC product, other normal range products. The nutrition philosophy in both the OTC and special care range is same and a pathogenic bacteria. Basically lactobacillus is a beneficial bacteria and a potential pathogen. Uh, the Im there's an imbalance. Intestine, the lactobacillus which are there in the it's, it's fructose plus you can use uh, during generally during monsoon season when dogs are at risk for digestive upsets. So this is the formula you can give them to prevent any disturbances in the, in the digestive tract or you can use it uh, after at nutrition for skin purpose. The protein source essentially causes and the question is how to evaluate the, the, the cure or not for the demoticosis. For my experience, or you can check the book, if you use the amitraz, please don't use localized. You must dip in the dog completely. Don't use the localized spray or you just wet the local Legion. You must dip in the dog in the amitraz solutions for 30 minutes or 20 minutes. So probably the case always recurrence. That's because you, they, the audience says you have a 4% amitraz solution.